Well, at one point, you actually had a meeting with Q-Tip and Leonardo DiCaprio about doing a Wu-Tang movie. Uh, the NWA movie had come out, it had blown up, you know, next thing you know, NWA is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So you, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio was, was with it. He was ready to, to help produce it, but ultimately it never happened and it became the Hulu series instead. Right. When you look at that situation, what exactly happened? Why do you think the movie didn't happen? Because all the series is dope. I think the movie would have been a lot bigger. Now, that's your opinion the same way how I felt like my opinion was was making sense. Um, I'm just, you know me, I'm just looking at numbers. I'm looking at, you know, numbers. I'm looking at popularity, all of that. I wasn't really thinking from a series perspective and looking at how movies are taking a hit according to television series and, you know, shit like that. So I was against it at first. I was like, yo, I think we need to go for the gusto and do a real movie and do it Goodfellas style, do it Once Upon a Time style, like let it be something serious, serious. And um, at that time, Rizzo had already was walking the way he was walking with his with his understanding of how he wanted to bring it out. So um, I remember having a meeting, a personal meeting with Rizzo, and I told them how I felt about it, and I said, yo, I think we would all benefit more from a, a movie more than what this shit is offering us. Not taking anything away from the, the opportunity, but I'm just looking at it financially. It could be a better lick for us collectively. Yo, boom. He like, yo, we was offered $10 million. I turned it down. I'm like, you mean to tell me we can't do a movie in ten with $10 million? He like, you know, when he get mad at me, he start calling me my name and shit. He like, yo, Raekwon, what you talking about? Raekwon, listen, yo, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, hold up. You can't make a movie with $10 million. You can't make a movie with $10 million? You serious? Raekwon, you not listening. You not listening. First of all, how do you make a movie in 10 million? How you make a movie of all of us in 10 million? I'm like, yo, you can make one, man. He was like, yo. It's going to take more than that. So anyway, I'm like, all right, what's the number? He told me the number that he felt we needed to go get. So this is always in the back of my head, trying to realize how my relationships could help, you know, make that happen. Because I feel like, okay, if you really think that this can happen, let's go, let's go, let's go maneuver a little bit. Let's go, let's go walk around the park a little bit. We may be able to get that. It's just all about us moving as a unit. So um, make a long story short, I was hanging out with, with Tip one night, Q-Tip, a good brother, very good friend of mine. Um, we was talking and um, he was like, yo, I'm hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio tonight. So I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, that's what's up. We we big fans of the homie, you know? We love him. He's a, he's a talented actor. He's a good guy. He's a real friend. Of, of the family, we know how he felt. So I was telling Tip, like, yo, you think he would be interested? And automatically Tip was like, yo, I'm gonna call him. I think he'd be, I think he'd love the idea. So you know me, now my brain is, my brain is starting to react a certain way. Like, yo, all right, we get, we get, we get this man involved with it. Oh, it's on and popping for real. And we're gonna get a great film out of this. Cause you know, like you said, the NWA situation just transpired and it did great. It did great. I'm talking about from what was invested into it and to what was the back end of everything. It did excellent. So this is where my mind is at. So next thing you know, Chip called me back and said, yo, Leo want to talk to you. He said, yo, we're going to meet up at this old Italian restaurant in Park Slopes. Boom, just be there, whatever. So I'm like, I right, bet. You know what I mean? I was in the city. Pull up. It was Leo there, cooling. He had about four people with him. You know, he had Tip there. I walked in, super love. Was talking about it. Leo just kept staring at me like, yo, do you think this really could happen? I'm like, yo, I know it could happen. I just need you to come in and basically give me your word that 
you're going to do everything in your power to make this one of the illest movies that it deserves to be. And he was like, yo, Shep, you got my word. So now Leo throws his peoples in the loop because I guess he was moving around and doing a film. But his peoples were staying on top of me like, yo, we want to set up a meeting with you and RZA and let's get down to the to the real deal of how we can make this work. You know, so next thing you know, we met up in Beverly Hills. We met up with, with Leo's team, his production team. RZA was at the meeting. So RZA really took the meeting on the strength of myself, but also he took the meeting to see if it really was what I'm talking about. So next thing you know, we sitting there, blah, blah, blah. They saying, yo, we interested. This is what we want to do. Cause you know me, I'm I'm throwing out there, yo, we gonna, we gonna wanna have an all-star cast of people involved with it. You know, I'm thinking like, yo, it'd be younger guys that'll wanna play us, and then eventually, you know, we would all play, we would all get in it somehow when it was needed. But the key thing was Rizzo already had an agreement with the people he was already doing something with. So he was sticking, he was staying loyal to his friends. But instead of really looking at the fact that this could be one of the greatest classic movies ever made if we go this way and we all on it. And um, all I can remember was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it didn't happen. And it got to the point where it was like they was calling me and I just felt like in the back of my mind, yo, you don't want this to happen, bro, bro. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to make it big to where we all could, we all could live. You know what I mean? Because now you're talking about something that people may be interested in seeing, you know, but he, but in his eyes, he just kept thinking, yo, series, it's going to last longer. My relationships, I can't go against them, but I'm going to hear you out, chef. And I see that you trying your best to make it bigger for all of us, but I'm just going to stay on this side of the plate. And that's what he did. And it just got to the point where it was like, you know, I was alone at the table when it came down to making that decision. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to be the bad apple to be like, I don't want to get down with it because I didn't get this situation happening over here. So I was pretty much pushed into pushed into doing the Hulu shit, you know? But I just felt like we would have did some real business on this side of the table. We would have all just been in the room together wanting that, but it didn't yeah. pan out. Well, still I mean, became, hold on, I like the hold on. Still became a great situation down the line. Right. You know what I mean? The Hulu shit, shout out Hulu, the team. They did a, They did what they did. They did a great job. They went and got the cast, you know, because we didn't have to do a lot of heavy work with this project because it was through the eyes of the RZA. It was his curation of what he wanted this to be. Me, like I said, if, if I was doing a film, it would have been more serious, more, more, more Martin Scorsese style, more Francis Ford Coppola style. If it was me, you understand? Right. Because I feel like I tell people all the time, when you look at the Hulu shit, it's like drinking the finest scotch, but it got a lot of ice in it. You understand? <laughs> this one that I would have, I would have wanted to happen. This would have been like some two hundred year old scotch shit, like you drink straight up though. You no know ice. what I mean? That's what I wanted. I wanted the uncut, not the not the West Side Story version. I wanted the the Goodfellas, the Godfather version. I wanted the you know the Scarface, the all of that. And 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 like I said, it was just one of those situations. I I was talked out of it, and I didn't I didn't get the um support from the family to really go that way. So it was Rizzo's. It you know he won the war.